Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry it every time on Darius in the top lane, carry yourself out of low elo. The secret is take advantage of his mobility summoner spells. Darius has the strongest all-in level one passive in the game, if not the strongest passive in the game, period. Loads of bleed damage, plus once you full stack it at five stacks, you get a bunch of extra AD. Level one, we need to leverage this to the max. We wanted to get him with an auto W reset. I was a little slow on it, but still we shredded him down. He's gonna have to reset now. Ideally, you catch them on their way from once they're done leashing. It's the most optimal. In this case, he showed up really, really early. For our runes, we have Conk, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Biscuits for Sustain, since we don't have TP, of course. And then we have Cosmic Insight to put our sums on a much lower cooldown. That way, my Flash will be up before his. My Ghost will be up before his. He doesn't have Ghost, but you get the idea here. You get the idea for sure. I kind of want to know where his Belveth is. We can even freeze his wave. He may not come this way. If you want to freeze wave, just stack it into kill formation. You're just going to pack it, tie it, and it gets the ranged minions to attack first. Just like this. So you'll see the ranged minions get down multiple volleys. So now we run him down. Oh, his Q's on cooldown. He's dead. We'll ghost for it. Auto W. He's got nowhere to go. He doesn't have ghosts, so now we just run him down, push him away from the minions. Hit him with the W. We didn't have time to auto W him again there. His wave should push out to me since he was hitting it. Plus since we tight formation it. It also reinforces on his side first. You see how it's past the center point of the wave. Got it. Nice, 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 nice. Your W has more range than your base auto attacks. So we can use it to last hit with. Forced him all the way back to his turret. Got him extremely low. It only cost us a ghost as well. He's... Going to be in a bit of a rough spot from there. There's not a single top laner in the game who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darius. Not even Warwick. And Warwick's one of the strongest level 1 all -liners. Just the Darius passive is too good. We have this in a freeze, therefore he has to come to us. We also have XP lead since he had to reset, of course. We don't want to level up our level 2 yet. Because we might want to get Hook. We might want to get Q just depending on how he's playing. There's no rush here. Absolutely not. Auto and a W reset. Alright, we'll get Q. Auto W into Q. We want the heal. Alright, not bad at all. Flash, auto W. Walk him down. He's got nothing left. We can go ahead and reset here. He definitely has a minion advantage. We'll snipe that down. Buy boots and head on back. So his wave is still past this center point. Where his reinforces first. Oh, I, I see. He TP'd this time. We're going to go ahead and look for some early boots and go into Stride Breaker. The rule of thumb on Darius is you want to have at least, bare minimum, the same boots or better as your opponent. So here he doesn't have boots, so tier 1 boots is fine. We don't have to get tier 2s quite yet. The thing that sucks about rushing Merc Treads here is they have a physical damage jungler. So it's just one of those things. So he doesn't have flash. And my flash is going to be up before his. I flash to get his flash. That puts us in a very good position. Last hit it with our W. Auto W reset. Auto W into an auto. Rip, rip, rip. Still have CS lead on him. My wave will push out because they're reinforcing on my side sooner. Even if my minions were missing a tiny bit of HP, this next wave will push it out really hard. Not all players understand wave management though, so they just think, oh, if it's close to my turret, they, they think we're freezing, but we're not really freezing. We're kind of slow pushing right now. As this next wave reinforces, I'll have a cannon plus two range creep advantage. So he just needs to sit back, wait. He'll lose a few minions in terms of gold last hits. All right, we missed the range creep, but it's fine. We get the cannon. <laughs> all right, now we just want to look to crash this. That melee creep, I didn't want to miss it. Melees are worth more than ranged, but uh, for whatever reason, it it's separated. So we're not going to be able to get it. Oh, there's the Mord. Trying to bait out his hook. We're going to click on him, look for the hook. Auto into W. We're going to go ahead and get him with the E. Auto W into Q. Try to click on them before you hook. That way, right after you hook them, you'll automatically auto-attack them without misclicking. So if I click on him, then hook, my next auto will automatically be on his forehead. 
which is where we want our auto attacks, right in the middle. So we have the wave crashed. Now we're kind of back to the reset point to where we want to tight pack his wave, create the reinforcement point closer to his turret. And this also puts them in kill formation. So you see two full range minion volleys before mine are even in range to attack. It's okay to give up a minion. Okay, so he just autoed, so he realized what's going on. So we can farm this without even worrying about pushing it. Because you need to let it establish its lead from those ranged minion volleys to where you don't want to just come in too hot and heavy. So he's going to kill himself for this cannon. Auto E, auto W into Q. He lost a lot of health and the wave's still coming to me. If I had flash, I would have all in him for that. So if they don't, I'm okay with kind of slow playing it. Or if I had Nimbus. If I had Nimbus, since I had Ghost, I could have done it. But without Nimbus... I think it would have been cutting it a little too close there. Auto W reset. He has way more minions than me. Cannon hits like two or three range creeps in terms of damage output. Auto W. So here I need to thin it out. You only want them to have four more range creeps than you. The fact that he has this many more. He's got the cannon in these range creeps. We can certainly uh, look to thin. As my melee creep bum rushes the back line. What a nutty, nutty melee creep. All right, auto and a W reset. He's trying to push it. Once he's six, he can kind of fight us. Your biscuits heal you more the lower on health you are. We're going to all in him when we have the space to do so. He's not sure what he should do. He doesn't have many options unless his jungler comes and bells him out. Like his flash is still on cooldown is the thing as well. I'm just, I'm just gonna run him down. Get him with the auto and the E. That was pretty messy on my part. His flash is about to be up. Auto W. Auto Q. And the R. We blew both sums for it, but we knew his flash was still on cooldown since mine came up. We have Cosmic, so ours is on a lower cooldown than his. So he needed another. I think it's a 30 second or a minute longer cooldown than ours. Might be like 30, 35 seconds. So we get the kill. We do not get the true R resets because we're not level 16 yet. We don't have three points in R. We just get an extension to use it. So we crash the wave. We can look the back off here. We want to get heartbound axe for movement speed. We want to get tier two boost for movement speed as well. Against their team, it's definitely a Merc Tread type of game. And then we'll keep going into stride break. So even though he's missing a minion since it's underneath his turret, the it's going to push out to me from the next wave. So he's just trying to push it as fast as he can here. I don't think he was able to push it quick enough, though. My wave should be there in time, I believe. We have tier 2 boots versus tier 1 boots. His flash will be up, though. So we probably can't kill him. Probably. Step up. Get him with the auto WQ. We still have our E to kind of beat him down with. Auto W E in the Q because we need that hill. Get him with the W and he should die from that. Yep. Even though Mord is really scary with his R, if you have any kind of advantage on Darius, you should be able to fight him. Particularly if you have your mobility there. We saved our hook to make sure we land our Q. If you EQ, no, even if they're cheating, if the hook lands, your Q tipper will land. It's just the timing's that tight. So do keep that in mind. There, I, that's what I was saving my Q for because we needed the heal. We'll go ahead and pop Biscuit because we're low health, kind of low mana. We can't back for anything too crazy. We'll just see if it's warded. He might push thinking we reset. I want to see if I can heal off Scuttle or find Fruit or something. I don't want that. I just want to heal off of it. He doesn't have R, so he can't actually fight me. We're going to max E second for the armor penetration. He has his shield coming up. I'm not missing gold or XP right now. None of his minis are about to die. I have R too, so I should be able to fight him. He's going to think he beats me though. We last it with W. It puts it on a lower cooldown. Refunds mana. Going to keep grabbing the wave. Stop it from full collapsing here. I don't think this is a true freeze necessarily. But he may not realize that and he might step up. This is a bit of a tricky situation. I can't really close in on that. 
And I also have this wave come into me, so... I also didn't know where Belveth was, plus I'm sitting on gold, missing some health. I just wanted Lilia to get what she started there. Ooh, still got that minion. That was lucky. Nice, and W. I don't know if his R is up, but his Q's on cooldown. Get him with the auto. Got his flash. That's huge. We know his flash is on cooldown now. Therefore, we can flash an all in him here very shortly. Auto into W. We don't really want this to crash. He has more than four more minions than me. The rule of thumb is that for them to have four or more range creep. So we should have a perma freeze even with how close this is underneath my turret. It is a little bit close for comfort though. Because these range creeps are just so freaking close. <laughs> Hot on the W. I'll pull this back a bit. Give ourselves some more space to breathe with. Their jungler has to come top. Like in situations like this, when you have full manipulation over the wave and a gold advantage on your opponent, his jungler has to, but they don't want to because they don't want to get for a laner who's behind. So there is a risk. Like if my jungler comes and their jungler comes, they're both gonna die. But he really needs his jungler to come here. Convincing your jungler is easier said than done. Like I said, they don't want to gank something that looks like a lost lane. This is more than a lost lane, though. This is, uh, we have it perma-frozen on his head. He's got 30 CS. Auto W reset. Missed a minion there. I'll go ahead and finish pushing this to spend my gold. And I figured he might be roaming, too. I'll go ahead and mute all so I can see. I think I can get a plate or two here. Lilia has a big shutdown on her head. I'd prefer her not die. Auto W. Another point to our E. Yeah, so he does get the shutdown. That kind of sucks. Only so much we can do about that. Two plates is worth more than a kill. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and reset now. We're sitting on a stride break. Remember, his flash is on cooldown. I should have pinged it for my own benefit. That way I would know for sure when it's going to be up because flash is a five minute cooldown. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll go ahead and mute her. She's just kind of annoying the Lilia. I, I know at least that uh, when my ghost is up, his flash will still be down. He pushed the wave, he's resetting. We might be able to push and stop him from getting back the lane here. Auto into W. You kind of just st stand off to the side of the minions. And then you can find big Qs. Auto into W. Push it with the Q. And now we get to block him in theory from getting back the lane. Now he, he literally just can't come back. He's got to go like the extra, extra long way around. This control word is going to ensure he doesn't sneak around behind me. You see where the Belveth is? We can break vision for a moment. Pop back out. Not sure where. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, you can't come back to lane. I don't know if he knows that. Get him with a hook. Auto WQ stride break. Auto into R. Down he goes. The R absolutely snapped his neck there. A little surprised that killed him. I knew it was going to be like kind of close. I wasn't expecting it to outright kill though. They're, they're in some big trouble now, man. We're soaking everything on the map. Q stride break. We're going to auto W. He still can't come back to wave. He has to have his jungler bail him out. We have him in a constant state of, <laughs> of not getting minions, man. So now what we can do is we can even lay our ward really far up ahead here. That was a bad placement for it because now he knows. He's still going to miss. We don't want to miss the turret though. Not sure where this guy's at. It's missing so many minions. 
The, the sheer number of minions he's missing right now is insane. He's 35 CS. We're almost perfect CS right now, 143, 15 minute mark. 10 CS per minute is considered basically perfect, and it's close enough to perfect. This wave's gonna push out to me a little bit here. Dragon's up, so his teammates aren't gonna be playing around topside right now. I'm gonna go ahead and back off. We can pick up uh, some force in nature. We make us really fast. We have the blue ward. We should go for dragon here. We don't need to stay top. He's already like when a dog's down, you don't have to keep kicking it. However that expression goes, or stop beating a dead horse. Whatever you'd say. We already have our advantage. We need to press the map now. Make sure we get dragons. Because we can stay here top, beat his head in all game while my teammates lose their lanes, essentially. And that's a bad thing. He doesn't know where we are. So he can't even push up confidently because I've been camping him. He doesn't know where I'm at. Is Lux going to step up here? Oh, I got flash, buddy. You better, you, you better hope you have flash. Oh, Lux. Auto into Q, stride break. Auto, auto into WR. Down you go. Rest in pepperonis, Lux. She was feeling real confident there for being lots of devs, but decent CS. She really thought she had that. Not sure where Belvet's at. I kind of need these fruits, though. I don't want to start this. I don't want Belveth and more to pinch me. I don't have armor, so I kind of need to uh, be a little bit weary of that. Plus, Belveth wants Harold, so I don't want to leash that for her and get pushed off by two of them. Lilia should really go for it. She's fast. She can disengage easily without having to pop her ghost. If I knew where Mord or Belveth was there, I would have done it, but I felt like they were pinching me. I just didn't know for sure. Auto into W. Always just ban Vayne. Vayne and Jace are Darius's two hardest matchups. They knock you away when you're all inning them, and then it, it just... That's like the end of it. That's all, you, that's all that happens. They knock you away, and that's it. The game becomes very tedious and boring against Jason Vane. So I would ban Vane and dodge Jace. Most Jace players are trash, so you might be able to just play it out. Until you get up in a like really high elo, Jace players, I'd say iron through platinum are not the best. Alright, we can pick up Force of Nature now. Oh, I should have just went for that there. She's so fed. We're still trapped underneath her. Hey, we have to like chipless. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. My goodness. Oh, their whole team's kind of bot side here. And they can try to kill me if they really want to. Mord's going to push in top side here. If I can get there without him knowing. I'm pretty quick too. I mean, tier 2 boots plus... Uh, Wing moon plate. We're moving quick enough. Got the bot pressure. Helped him get the turret. Waste Belveth's time because she tried to path bot. Oh, and they quit. SGGs. How much you pay, Darius, says the Thresh. That's hilarious. Minus CS. <laughs> Alright, let's get damage dealt, damage taken, and rune. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we were number two in the game. Damage taken. Not that great. We weren't really getting focused too much. Self mitigated. Eh, it's all right and for runes high value all in all Darius massive lane bully takes over the game level one You can run people off the waves. You can kill them on their way to lane freeze them out and Absolutely dominate if you guys enjoyed this video Don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more Darius content or any champion in particular Let me know down in the comments below. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time